Hey there, what's going on? It's George. Uh, today I wanted to uh, make a guitar amplifier with the Boss RC600. Let's get to it. I'll show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing you want to, you're going to notice about this is the screen's a little blurry. <laughs> but uh, bear with me. So what I did is I have... You can see on the main menu here, I have the preamp. I have a, a boost, which is signified by DS for distortion. I put a tremolo on here, and I have a reverb. So this is like a virtual or you know amplifier that I made, uh, just to show you what the what you could do. And I have it laid out this way. So uh, we have effect one two, three, and four. These would be input effects. One, two, three, four. And, of course, Boss, confusingly, calls it A, B, C, D. So, what I had to do is I went into the, uh, the control, right? And this was a little bit tricky. Uh, kind of, but not bad. So you, you hit menu twice, you go into the uh, control function. And what I did, mode 3 is our effect mode, normally. And you go to mode 3. And I went to pedal 8 over here, right here. Pedal 8, if you're looking up in the right-hand corner. Like this, pedal 8, right here. And I turned it off. Now... The reason I did that is because if we go back and we go to assign, right? Now, let's go to pedal 8. And for assign, what I did is you can see the source, right? This is a switch on and off. Pedal 8, mode 3 is our source. We're going to toggle. And then I go over to the next screen, and what I did is our target is input effects bank increase. Now what that does, uh, just so you can see, not only can, uh, not only did I set this up for four different effects, um, but uh, you we can go bank through. So I have input effects. It's set on D right now. If you look at the screen right here, I am banking through uh, presets. And the camera is blurring out because of the lights. But whatever. Can you see it? I'm going to do it slowly. There's input effects A. Here, I'll play it. This is similar to what I just did. Here's bank B. It's, uh, some phaser thing I did. So as you can see, what I what I had done is I made it so I have four banks of effects, and I can just hit one switch to go be between them. So, on to the amp building. Here we go. So, what I did here is, first thing we do is build this preamp. So, uh, let's go to loop. Loop again. You hit it twice, and now you can see input effects. Hit that, the first knob. And here's your input effects, A, B, and C, and D. So as I turn these on, oops, you can see, kind of, or not at all. <laughs> well, you can see the lights going on and off. But what this is, I'm going to show you. So number one, or effect A, we hit this. I have it set to preamp. And I have a 112 speaker. And I have a uh, natural clean. Now 
Now the Stratocaster uh, is plugged straight in. Uh, it goes through my tuner, and I'm going straight into the Boss RC600. So this is what the preamp sounds like on clean. Of course, you can change these things. Have you seen? Watch my other videos. Okay, so what I did, somebody had asked, well, what can I set this up like an amplifier? And the answer is yes. So number two, what I did is I put a boost. And as I do that, let me go back to the exit exit maybe you can see now here's the boost you can turn it on and off now right there i'm i'm adjusting my guitar volume here's the uh, bridge pickup now, I, I turned my guitar down. So again, we have the preamp and the boost going, okay? Now let me turn the bridge pickup on, volume on full. Sounds cool, right? Now I turn the boost off. So I programmed this preamp to kind of go to the edge of breakup, you know. Uh, one thing I did notice is the volume, the, you know, with the boost, it really does boost. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> so let me uh, show you just quickly. I hit uh, loop twice, input, boost is on B, okay? And you have different types of boost, remember that. You, so I have, I just set it on boost, I increase the tone, the distortion setting is in the middle. Uh, this is pretty important right here. Uh, as the lights stop changing, it kind of goes in you can see I have the direct level and the effect level that's the middle pickup Let's say you wanted to set this up as an amplifier, right? So you'd have, here's your amp, and you can see me switch through, boost, without, remember this is direct in. Okay, now. On effect three, I put a tremolo because that's my taste. But you could you could put whatever you wanted on there. You could put a phase shifter. You could put a chorus. You could put a uh, compressor. I kind of set it up so it's like an old amp, you know. So, and if you manipulate your volume control on your guitar, you can get a lot of different sounds, you know. Effect four, reverb. Turn the trim off. Boost off.
I mean, it sounds, it's really cool sounding. So, uh, you know, my thoughts are that you could easily use this, uh, either on a gig or recording, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate all the different effects. I do that in a different video. If there's anything else that you might want to know about this, the only other thing I will say is that when I set um, to bank through the effects, what we just did was just one amplifier, okay? So you could build four amplifiers if you want, you know, and they could all have different effects and you can switch on the fly. And if you can see what I'm doing, this is our loop, right, section. That's mode one. This is mode two for more loops. If you hold the button down, it takes you into the effects. And I will show you once more, just so you get the gist of this. And as I said, this is your preamp. You can turn it on and off. Uh, your boost, you can turn it on and off. Your I had tremolo here. You can put anything you want. I had reverb here. You can put anything you want. And then if you go to right here, this is button eight. What that does is bank through. This one is... Uh, Preamp tremolo reverb delay. This one is phaser gated reverb preamp uh, something. And this one is an octave. Yes. subscribe there's going to be more videos i'm going to do one uh the next one i'm going to do i'm going to plug this into my amplifier and we'll see how it sounds through the amplifier and as promised uh we're going to go through the track effects and i'll have laura sing so you can hear how uh the different effects sound on vocals okay thanks so much enjoy hope you're doing well